Oh, say hi to my people. Hey, dude, it's over here. This is Mary over here at Images on the Page. I'm doing a kind of new setup. I liked it when I did the unhaul that I was standing, so I figured I would continue to see how I liked it. So today I'm doing something I have never done before. I'm actually going to be doing a TBR for this month. I have stated in other videos that I'm definitely very much more of a mood reader, but that hasn't been standing me so well. Um, carrying me through the month's reading um because i'll get distracted by other things where i'm hoping if i had some books kind of like set out like oh i want to get these read or whatever that maybe it'll encourage me to read more because these last i think the last april and may come and i've only read like two books so i just want to be reading more so i figured i would give this tbr a shot <laughs> and I have planned to read more books this month than I have ever accomplished, so we'll see how this goes. So the first, or one of the books, I don't know if it's going to be the first one, I haven't, but um, one of the books I want to read is The Smoke Gets in Your Eyes by Caitlin Doty. She actually does have a YouTube channel. I will link it down below. But I've heard really interesting things. She's um, a mortician? I believe she's a mortician, and she just kind of talks about... Like it says in other, that was Wally, you can kind of see him, um, and other stories from the crematory. So I, I've heard really good things about this. I don't know if it's a individual story or a, I mean, it was a nonfiction part, so, but I don't know if they're like short stories. I'm not sure, but I've just been really interested in reading it. Um, and then, also, I found out very recently been watching Matthew Schrappa's TBR for this month. That is also Pride Month and Women Reads Month. Um, I haven't, I don't know if there's any challenges going on for like that, because um, I just found out about them, so I haven't really set anything up to follow those. But I am actually reading all women this month, and I know at least two of my stories out of the six I planned for sure are... Um, queer books. I don't know about the other ones, um, so we'll see when I get to reading those. But the next, another one I want to read is Let's Talk About Love. I've heard a lot of good things about this. Um, I know it's about a bi-romantic ace character, which I'm really excited about because I identify as asexual, so I don't see a lot of rep. I do know for people who might be interested in this that I've heard that the beginning is very kind of intense. Um, because there's some ace phobic language so just be warned um, but I think it's just a cute contemporary romance so we'll see how it goes with me so I'm also part of a book club where I live here in Michigan and one of the bu books is to drink from the silver cup that was chosen by one of our other members um, I actually know nothing about it I just know it was chosen I have it on ebook so I'll probably put the picture right around here, um, and we'll see how that goes. That is, I think I need to have it read by the 1st of July, so. I'm sorry if any of these, the ones I'm actually holding up, are shiny. I got them from my local library, and they do the, like, plastic around the dust jacket, so they might have some glare. The next one, I've actually started this, but another one I'm reading this month is Pretty Monsters by Kelly Link. It is... Um, a collection of short stories by Kelly um, that all have to do with kind of science fiction fantasy. Um, I saw this in one of those um, SFF Babbles videos. I'll link that down below because I can't for the life of me remember whose video I saw it from. But she was talking about really awesome like magazines or short stories and she read the Inside Dust Jacket which sounded really awesome. And I'm just going to do that real quick. So this book contains nine short stories and a fun booth in Las Vegas, aliens, unhelpful wizards, possibly carnivorous sofas, a handbag with a village inside it, Tennessee fainting goats, dueling librarians, a statue of George Washington, a boy named Onion, pirates, an undead babysitter, a nationally ranked soccer player, shapeshifters, and an unexpected campfire guest. 
and that's what got me into it and why I asked for it at my library. So maybe that'll get you guys into it. Another book I plan on, or I've actually started reading for this month, is called Mercy. Oh, say hi to my people. Hey, dude. It's over here. Hi. Um, Mercy, I don't remember who the author's by. It is um, based off of, well, it's not based off of anything. It is um, like a thriller. It follows um, a female cop. This is one of the ones that I know is queer. Um, so far, it's a lot more paranormal since, or like science fiction than I had thought it would be while well, he's sitting on my foot. He's being adorable. So we'll see how that goes. And then the last one I'm hoping to get done this month is The Bones of Others. I have this one on audiobook. I was really interested in The Bones Will Tell. It's actually the second book in the series. And I literally was going to read that one until I realized it was the second book in the series. So I decided to go for the first one. And that one is also like a thriller mystery. It's about this girl, at least in the first book, who was um, kidnapped in by this pedophile. And she escaped. And now she's made it her life mission to go back and like catch him so he stops kidnapping girls and raping them. And that is also more kind of supernatural, paranormal than I had anticipated it being. So we'll see how this TBR works out. Ah. And until the next video, ta-ta for now.